Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Wayne Gretzky's Winery and Distillery. We are going to do a full walk around and a wine tour. We hope you like it. Thanks for watching as always. Enjoy. Here we go. Hey buddy. Oh, this is a nice little hall. It's very Canadian, eh? <laughs> Quite. What makes a Canadian more? Lockay. Leake? Most definitely. That's his daddy. What's his name? Walter? Walter. Yes, nice, nice. That's a cool photo. Wow, look at how young Wayne looks here. That's so funny, eh? There's the great one. Really bad glare, but how young Carl he was then. That looks amazing. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah? And your name? Sierra. Sierra. Very nice. Very pretty. We have some really nice juice. Oh. Would you like inside or outside? Uh, outside. Outside, I think. Please? Because I need some air a lot. You need some air. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll make sure you get lots of air. <laughs> Lots of juice and lots of air. Let's go outside. Oh, there's a bird inside. Hey. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. My question was, yeah. what, kind of, what kind of oak are they using? Is it, is it all American oak like everybody else? Um, I'm not sure about our barrels exactly, but I just know that uh, I think they're just like the standard just regular oak yeah. that we get. Yeah. And uh, they're all aged in Grimsby. Uh, and then so like the red and the ice, you should do about three years, and then the 99 is five. Yeah. Right on. So yeah, basically, we, we make it here, we distill it here, and then we put it all on the truck, and then we ship it over to Green Street, and that's where it's yeah. at. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like a big warehouse for us. Because when you, when you have a cask, an oak cask, mm -hmm. whiskey in particular, there's, there's one oak that you use. They won't even go to Europe yet. They won't come to Canada to use it. Yeah. It's American. Yeah. And yeah. that's where it's at. So the Pinot, the Sauvignon, and then the rose grapes go right there. Interesting the difference in colors of yours. Got really 
where is this this, this young fella? He was a very pleasant young fella. Um, he went to the casting and age. Age does not speak for the quality of the whiskey, contrary to popular belief. And go ahead and drop a comment below and I'd love to discuss that with you. But that's definitely not determinant of the quality of whiskey that you can get. Hey Noah. Yeah, it's neat. That's boarding out. Playing with him. The Washington Nationals. There he is again. Pretty cool. Say thank you. Say thank you. So we just did our tasting and we came from up there and I showed you a quick shot of the, the bar itself, I guess, and the indoor tasting. There's the outdoor. We decided to be outside. Because it's September, late September, and it was absolutely gorgeous out today, at least 25, 26 degrees. So I guess this is just a retail shop, of course. It's <laughs> your typical hats. Wow. I don't know if I found a little wine guys can Distillery by uh, Hello Weekend Pack. But, no, oh, I guess they got a lot of different stuff available. So, obviously, just a retail shop. You would expect to see something like this at Wangerski Distillery. A hockey shot flight set. Oh, here go. And of course, all of their different wines that they have available. So this is interesting. Limited edition half ones. It's a 99. Um, here's a better bottle. Thanks, Lois. Thanks, Lois. If I was a hockey guy, I'd be all over that. Yeah, and there's, of course, <laughs> there's the other. Oh, I didn't see that either. No, 99 bucks? <laughs> good, 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 good guess. Okay, well, if that's one. Of course, they've got jerseys. I want it. I know. I got something else to grab. Of course, Wayne Gresky Pucks. Spark that right here. So, two months and six dollars and twenty six dollars. Okay. Eat, sleep, play hockey. Sticks. Wow, that's thick. Look at that. That's a that sucker. Straight blade. Gotta love it. This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 There's whiskey glasses here. I don't see them around very often, actually. So. I'm gonna have to come to a shop like this to get a glass like that. What's the difference? Is it just nice So yeah, so this is the yeah, red cast, but I tried it. Right, and what's the percentage of blood alcohol? Just out of curiosity, can you see that? Forty percent. Forty percent. Okay, so this one. 41.5. This is exactly what I told you. And 49. And 49.5. So I think it's the identical blend from what I could taste. It's just they distinguish the, the three different brands marketing wise. Dad, you have to listen to me. Based on the fact that it's been aged longer, Noah. So if you like that flavor of whiskey, then I guess you're you're laughing. You could buy the 99 proof and probably really happy because you like that oaky flavor. So 
so this is obviously their winery this way distillery that way whiskey bar and beer garden right there which i'll show you in a second trius winery and then the wine and whiskey tours that that way cool come on dude Oh, we're just gonna check it out. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Wow, look at that, Isaiah. You know what that is? Yeah, 99. That's right, who's that? Who is that? Rain Dusty. That's right, buddy. Is he the greatest hockey player ever? Yeah. So this gets this gets frozen in the winter, buddy. And they make an ice rink out of this. I guess that's the one thing that any athlete would say, I gotta have an ice rink. Well, it smells really good out here, no? And there's where we were just upstairs for the wine tasting. Yeah. And then it's a beautiful building. Over there for more wine tasting and then indoor. As well as outdoor the patio. Just around the corner, you can't see it. It's typical of a professional athlete to be like, yeah, dude, we have to have an ice rink, man. Oh well, yeah, of course. I could see that. This would be fun to see in the wintertime. Imagine you can bring your skates. The numbers in the middle of the ice cream cone will... You know, like the... Oh, that's cool. But the funny thing is, though, when you're looking at, like, the ice rink and, like, the bar and all that other stuff, which in the wintertime would be fantastic. Yeah. Get a hot chocolate or get a, a nice whiskey or whatever in between blading around for a little bit and how gorgeous the property is in the facility. But then you see the typical hockey benches, eh? How beat they are. <laughs> <laughs> It's so no, it's just so typical of, of hockey in Canada. Uh, who cares about the benches, guys? It looks good, eh? You can still sit down and lace well, up the blades. Probably because they, well, they have <laughs> look at this. To make this an ice rink, right? Yeah, they do. In the winter? I just said that. Oh, yeah. It's pretty funny. And then back here would be the vineyards. And. It looks like distribution, you hey, know, back there. Yeah. No. Semi. And I imagine they they book these areas for weddings and things of that nature. That makes sense. Yeah. And people can have their stuff out here and host their party out out here on the patio. Yeah, it's cool. And then this is the the beer garden, eh? Very neat. There's a lot of property here. So I think a lot of the vineyards in do this type of thing. However, this is a vineyard slash distillery, which is different than any other vineyard, obviously, that's around this area. And the Niagara on the Lake is known for their vineyards, of course. Everybody knows that. So I was telling you about the hockey benches in there and how they don't really maintain them. But then you get the one at the beer garden and it's gorgeous. Hey, you know what? Notice the benches in here are beautiful. Well, they're Go not by the rink. That's right. Oh, there's a... Look at that. Ping pong table. Looks like they have it closed right now. Yeah, it looks like this is all shut down. It clearly, it hasn't been open for quite some time. But they got all the tables and chairs kind of closed up. They had a nice fireplace over there? Yeah, that would be. Let's go look at that. It's nice and quiet though, isn't it? I guess it's pretty much surrounded by vineyards, right? Yeah, this is neat. So you could probably have some, some food and stuff up here. And you hear that pop in the background, Noah? Yes. We noticed that was to get rid of the birds from the from eating all the grapes and stuff. So, oh, cool fire pit. Very, very neat. You heard that pop again? That was just getting rid of the birds again. But it's neat how you can get really close to the actual vineyards themselves. Hey? And if you look closely, obviously, um, these are white grapes, right, Noah? Yes. Wait. White grapes? 
Are they? It, wait, no. White grapes no are the green. enough to think twice about that, even though the color is white, of a red grape. Yeah, white, white grapes are the green ones. Yeah. Or, yeah. So Noah was smart enough to go, okay, you know what? Maybe this isn't white grape, which could just be the skin on it. But the darker the skin on the grape, you know, is, it keeps the pest away and keeps the sun out of the fruit itself. But interesting how you can get that close to the actual vineyard. I wonder if they harvest this or if this is all for show, Noah. What do you think? I, I feel like this part would be for show. Yeah. And then across the but way But all there. the fields there are definitely part of the vineyard. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then walk around here. Oh, look at his, uh, there was a ping pong table over there. There's the patio I was telling you about. You can see from around the corner. We were just up there to have a tasting. Pool table. And then here is a, an outdoor pool table. But it, again, it looks looks shut down, doesn't it, Noah, for the season? Yes. Shut down because of COVID, maybe. Most likely. More than likely, yes. And here's the kids and mom. Just sitting up here. I don't No, I don't think you can either, unfortunately. But though, you know what? Like, it'll be as nice as it would be to um, see the vineyards. I'm not that interested in doing that, are you? No, not really. I was just more interested in seeing the great ones. Yes. Business. Yeah. I think it's cool to do something other than hockey. We just didn't have to sit there. We were going to write with that, you know. Look at that. Arms up, my love. Arms up. Thank you. What do you say? Thank you. I'm in this one. All right, dude. Look at that. Kind of ugly in that corner of things, but it's beautiful otherwise. I'm not ugly. Pardon, no? How did you assume we were talking about you? No, I'm good, Dad. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, Miss, stop. I just have a question I'm, um, about your ice rink. I know that you guys have one in the winter. Yeah. What's the deal with that? Like, is it... This year it's going to change a little bit. Yeah. Just with COVID. Yeah. Um, so last year it was you came, you could rent skates, you could also bring your own, and then you just paid to be on the rink. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe it was $10 a yeah. person to be, okay. to be on the rink. Um, yeah. And then we keep our outdoor patio open here so you can oh. get like, hot chocolate or food. Yeah, we have big fire pits. Yeah, and yeah I, I did see one beautiful. fire pit. Yeah. Yeah, we're we considered destination, so we're open year round. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so okay. we like summer, winter, we accommodate all yeah. kinds of activities and events. Yeah, yeah. right on. So now do you we're do looking at too? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, so for this year, um, they're looking at renting out the rinks. You would actually make a reservation for when you're going to be here okay. and you would have a time slot. Yeah. Um, or you could rent a full time slot and have like your family come and do that. Okay. Um, but we haven't had full confirmation yet. On As what. to what's going to go on yeah. yet. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. We don't know what the government will say. Yeah. Well, they keep changing so. their minds, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. We'll cool. Are you local? Do you live We're in Guelph. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Like this is actually the first time we've even been in Niagara on the Lake. Oh, like we go to Niagara yeah. Falls all the time and Oh, you're missing that. I know. Right. Well, we drove by. The, the other day and we're like right oh well, like, yeah. you should think about being a wine club member if you're gonna come in the way and like some activities because yeah. everything's 50% off for wine club members okay tastings are complimentary yep uh, not just here but here Trius Keller and 30 up. bench so we're associated with <laughs> four wine <laughs> okay so everything's half price for any events that we run yeah. and tastings are free and you get two bottles of wine delivered to your home um, Every month. Okay. So it's fifty-five dollars a month. Yeah. But it covers all, all that those extra stuff. And yeah. every fourth month you get a whiskey kit. Oh. So every fourth month hey, you get yeah. whiskey or whiskey cocktails oh, okay. and things like that. Yeah.
As always, thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. And again, we will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.